Okay, loads of interest on or discussion on this uh, book folding business. So, following on from the last one where I showed you how to create the file for the words, what I have is I have a thousand and odd page really old dictionary that's falling apart. I managed to find one in one of the local shops. So, what I have done is because that's going to give me 500 pages. Christmas has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 letters, 1 M. Okay. So, what I've done is I've divided it. I've got 500 lines along here. And I've welded it to the word. This is using the Samantha Italic Pro um, font, uh, which is quite nice. So what I've done is, my printer's having hissy fits, I've split this into four separate sections and printed them out separately on separate sheets of paper. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch to my print preview here. Okay, so you can see, if I zoom in a bit more, there we go, where these lines cross the letter, these are the points of the fold right here. Okay, so what I'll do now is I will come out of this and switch to my video camera and I'll start book folding and hopefully we'll get some decent shots. Okay, so we've switched the camera. What I've got here is a very old, it does need rebinding, which is just as well, I'm going to do some chipboard on the end of this, uh, a very old medical dictionary, okay? Loads of pages, loads of diagrams. It's not perfect, it's got marks on. Basically, very tatty piece of uh, book really. Here are the four sheets that I have printed out. I don't know how well you can just see it there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to mark or fold these so that it fits at exactly the same height across the top of this book. Okay. So if I want the words to be about there, lining it up, I'm going to make a mark there in my paper. Okay, so let's fold this straight. And the others will be folded to the same point. Okay, so the first line is the first intersection. Okay, now I'm going to try and zoom in on this and see how good we can get some decent shots of this. I am not including these pages here because you can see where it's broken there. So I'm going to have to, once I've done the folding, I'm going to have to do um, some gluing along here, use some book binders and glue it back together again. So that is officially my first page. Okay. So what I want to do first is I want to get the book to lie straight, as in the spine of the book. Okay. So I want all the pages to be reasonably flat, which is why I'm pressing it down like that, so that I end up with a square end. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to take my scalpel, which is in here somewhere, or a knife. There's the scalpel. That's the problem with these things. And I'm actually going to which way up am I going? This is the bottom of the book, so it's not too important. Okay, but I'm going to cut just slightly into this page or these pages and just run the knife along so it gives me a nice straight line to work on. Okay, I prefer to use a cut because I think it gives me a nicer finish. So just a little snip there. I'll just stand it back and push it back down again. Let's say this book is in very bad condition. 
so there's not an awful lot else to be done with this book and I'm going to go I think I'm going to go about here on this edge it doesn't matter if the top and bottom are at different points okay just long as all the top matches and all the bottom matches and I'm using this as a marker for where I'm going to fold the pages so I don't know whether you can see that line that I've just just cut into this edge here and I've lost a fingernail so going back to the beginning and I'm losing using losing that one what I'm going to do now is this page where I folded it it's obviously going to need trimming down a little bit but when I fold it over can you see how it rests against the rest of the pages okay and that is going to be a straight line guide okay so that you know you're always going to be at exactly the right point starting these things off is the hardest part okay once you've got past about that far however far that far is okay uh, it becomes a lot easier so what I need to do is I need to line this with the first line on here which I've got there but what I'm so I think you can just about see the seam there if I peel this page back okay this line here this very first line is the line that I want to line the edge of this page up with so carefully line it up top and bottom this is the other reason why I prefer doing it this way because I get a nice line to, to line up with right now the other thing that I do is I use a parchment ruler because they tend to be thinner um, this is probably the best size for this size book. This isn't a very large book. I go in inches. Its depth is just under six inches. Okay. I do have some more books that I picked up from the charity shop today, and they're a lot wider. Uh, so I would use one of the longer parchment grid rulers, um, the ones that do the borders, the repeating patterns. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find where I placed that cut. Where my blade went, that's where I'm going to fold to on this side. So the top of the book, and... So what I want to do now is I want to fold from where the C just starts to meet that line to that slight cut that I made. So that is actually going to fold there. I use this ruler for the bottom point and because I've made that slight slice up there, it gives me a point to fold back to. Okay, so that's the first one. Each page takes two folds. Sometimes it might take three if you're having to try and get them back out the way of the centre of the book. So, this bottom one here. Make sure that line's straight. Goes to there and the ruler mark is there so just hold that back like that and that's all you're going to do all the way through the book okay so that gives me one and now what I want to do is I want to mark this line off because I've done that one okay so we can turn the page over next page we want to line up to the next line along, which is that one there. Okay, so ruler to that point, aim that in the general direction, and hold that page back. Not quite there. that one to the bottom which I'm going to slide up a bit so you can see my mark is here and I'm going to take that piece and to the mark there Come on. Not quite right. there we go just 
grease each of the folds that you make to keep them nice and sharp. And then, I don't know how well this camera is picking up. Can you see that? Those two there together. Alright, one is bigger than the other. Okay, which is great. It's exactly what we want. The word will increase in size through the page. So, go to page three and do it again. Nope, I've not marked it off. So, mark line two off. So, you know you've done that one. Especially handy if you have to walk away and leave it. And then we're going to line up line three. Time consuming this project, but well worth it in the long run. There's it. So fold that back. Making sure we're still lined up. I do wonder about putting a piece of masking tape or washi tape on this just to hold it in place but then you've got the hassle of trying to get the damn thing off every time you want to move it so we need that one there right mark it off so we know we've done that one and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press pause on this and I'm going to go and carry on till I end up where I'm at two lines so you can see how the letter actually forms. Okay.